The county of El Paso and some local administrators are bringing more financial assistance opportunities for small businesses negatively impacted by COVID in El Paso County. $10 million from the county is being dispersed into various grant and loan programs known as the Financial Assistance for Safety, Technology, and Economic Resilience. Now, the county says the goal is to provide aid to small businesses in rural areas outside of the city limits and minority-owned businesses. The El Paso Hispanic Chamber of Commerce is one of the administrators involved, urging those interested to apply fast. As we've known and we've seen through the PPP and the idle loans and the grants, money goes very quickly. So if you are interested, I would recommend that you visit our website, go to our landing page that has the application there for you to print out and fill out and send to us. And the El Paso Hispanic Chamber of Commerce says so far it's received 60 applicants. The deadline to apply is March 15th. For more on eligibility, visit epbusinessstrong.org. Meanwhile, not all businesses are eligible to apply for these grants and loan programs within the county. KTSM 9 News reporter Tatiana Favela spoke with a local business owner who shares his thoughts about some of the exclusions in place. Pat's Social Hookah and Cocktail Lounge has been operating here in El Paso since 2012. Now, during a time of need, the business says that it's found some restrictions when applying to some local funding sources. Pub Social did everything morally, ethically, and legally correct. Um, and we've been shut down since March 2020. The owner of Puff Social, Christopher Ferris, is one of many business owners searching for opportunities to reopen. However, doesn't qualify under the newly rolled out financial assistance for safety, technology, and economic resilience grant programs with the county. Puff Social is a business that has paid every tax, every permit, rent, and any other expense, and operates accordingly just like the next that are eligible. And now when it's time to give back to help a true local small business, I mean, we've been in operation nine years, we get shut out. Some businesses that are excluded from these programs include age-restricted businesses, from establishments that sell alcohol, sexually oriented businesses, smoke shops, and tobacco shops. This age-restricted, you know, uh, exception from this, from this funding source is unacceptable. It's discriminatory and biased. Just because it, uh, we may not fall into a category pleasing or accepted to certain people or group does not make my business ineligible and illegitimate. El Paso County Commissioner David Stout says the purpose is to continue promoting a healthy lifestyle for the community. It would be very ironic for us to be incentivizing or, or, or helping businesses that, that really don't fall in line with what the county's mission is when it comes to um, uh, trying to, to better people's uh, uh, health, 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 care out, health and health care outcomes, right? And so um, I, I think that's kind of the basis of uh, wanting to exclude those, those businesses. Ferris says if he doesn't reopen soon, the business could shut down. From the people who are supposed to help us and be there for us, um, it's definitely a driving factor in, in reopening. And the owner of Puff Social says that he's going to continue working with his legal and medical team and figuring out the next steps on when to reopen. In West El Paso, Tatiana Favela, KTSM 9 News.